So I'll go through an example with a 3 by 3 matrix, and we'll look at a uh, characteristic polynomial of degree 3. So let's look at a specific example. So let's suppose that A is the 3 by 3 matrix 1, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. The question is, is A diagonalizable? <clears throat> so first we find the characteristic polynomial by looking at the determinant of lambda i minus A. So that's going to equal the determinant of the matrix lambda i minus A is going to be lambda minus 1, 0, negative 2, 0, lambda minus 1, 0, 0, 0, lambda. The determinant of this upper triangular matrix is the product of the diagonal entries. So this is lambda times lambda minus 1 squared. The eigenvalues are obtained by setting this determinant equal to 0 because we want this matrix lambda i minus a uh, to be singular. So the solutions to this equation are obviously lambda equals 0 and lambda equals 1. Lambda equals 0 is a root of multiplicity 1, and lambda equals 1 is a root of multiplicity 2. So this matrix A is diagonalizable if and only if the sum of the dimensions of the eigenspaces is 3. If there are two eigenspaces. Those eigenspaces are called E0 and E1. Those are the eigenspaces. Since 0 is a root of multiplicity 1, the dimension of E0 is 1. On the other hand, the dimension of E1 is either 1 or 2. In order for the matrix to be diagonalizable, the dimension of E1 would need to be the, uh, the maximum possible here, 2. So we have to check the dimension of E1. Is it 1 or is it 2? So let's find the dimension of the eigenspace E1. So in other words, we're looking for solutions to the system Ax equals 1 times x, Ax equals x. So we can turn this into a homogeneous system. In fact, it would be the homogeneous system Ix minus A, uh, x equals 0, or simply I minus A, x equals 0. Uh, and the matrix here, I minus A, is simply the matrix obtained from uh, this one here by plugging in lambda equals 1. So let's do that. So we have the augmented homogeneous system looking like uh, 0, 0, negative 2, 0, 0, 0, uh, 0, 0, 1. And then on the right side, the augmented system, uh, the zero vector. <clears throat> so the solutions to the system, uh, x1 and x2 would be free variables. Here I'm thinking of, uh, this is the x1 column, the x2 column, and the x3 column. Our vector x is the vector x1, x2, x3. So x1 and x2 are free variables. x1 is s. A parameter, x2 is t, and x3, uh, from either the top row or the bottom row, x3 is equal to 0. So x, the vector x, the solutions to this equation, the eigenvectors, have the form s, t, 0, and that can be written as s times 1, 0, 0, plus t times 0, 1, 0. So what we're saying here then is the dimension, well let me just say, first E1 will be the span of the two vectors that we see here. Uh, 1, 0, 0, and 0, 1, 0. And these are obviously two linearly independent vectors, and so the dimension of E1 is equal to 2. So the matrix A is diagonalizable. The sum of the dimensions of the eigenspaces is 3. 
one of the eigenspaces has dimension 1, and the other eigenspace has dimension 2. Uh, so furthermore, we can say when a matrix is diagonalizable, we can do a little more than just uh, declare that it is such. <clears throat> we can actually find the matrices D and P such that D is equal to P inverse AP. Uh, D will simply be the matrix of eigenvalues on the diagonal. So the eigenvalues were 0 and 1. Uh, 0 was an eigenvalue of multiplicity 1, and 1 was an eigenvalue of multiplicity 2. So there are the eigenvalues. And it's a diagonal matrix, so the other entries are all zeros. So there's our D. And for P, uh, we need the eigenvectors associated with the corresponding eigenvalues uh, in we need the eigenvectors associated with the eigenvalues in the corresponding columns. So let's see. In the first column, we need the eigenvector associated with 0. Actually, we didn't figure that out, so we have to go back and do that. But the eigenvectors associated with the eigenvalues 1, the eigenvalue 1, are these two vectors. So we could use those as the second and third columns. So we still have a column missing. If we want to go back and figure out the eigenspace E0, uh, this is going to be a span of one vector. We can take that one vector and put it in here. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Uh, so the matrix was here, and we were doing AX equals 0x. So we just need to row reduce this matrix. It was just AX equals 0 then. So uh, T3, uh, X3 is going to be uh, X3 is going to be a parameter. X2 is going to be zero of that one, and X1 is going to equal negative two X3, so that's negative two T. So the solutions are X equals uh, negative two T zero T. So that's T times the vector. Uh, negative 2, 0, 1. So there is a basis vector for the eigenspace E0. And we can put that in here. Corresponding to the eigenvalue 0 is the eigenvector negative 2, 0, 1. Negative 2, 0, 1. <clears throat> so the matrix is diagonalizable because the dimension of the eigenspaces was the maximum possible 3. And the diagonal matrix uh, is the matrix with the eigenvalues on the diagonal, and the matrix P has as its columns the corresponding eigenvectors. So this has been a little discussion about diagonalization of matrices. I hope you've found it helpful.